Dave from Debelli, and today we're going to talk to Alex, Nicole, Megan, Sydney. See, <laughs> almost the Doll Skins. Welcome back to Phoenix. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you. We're so excited to be here. <laughs> I caught you earlier on stage. Great set. It's always fun to play a little bit of a homecoming. Tell me about it. Um, that was the best homecoming I think we've ever done yeah. because we really like plan a long tour and we like we should do a homecoming show and there. it used to be really great but like this one was the best yeah. I think. I mean it's just like because Warp Tour itself has been such a goal for all of us for so long and then like doing it and then like not only just doing it for one show you know like just like the hometown show but like doing a, a whole leg of it you know like not the whole thing but like doing a leg of it and like still being able to come home and like still play on the warp tour it's it's just so cool and we got to play the big stage and everything so it's like ah <laughs> like look mom <laughs> look mom we did it um it's just been like a crazy emotional day like i almost cried like three times on stage today i was just so emo about how wonderful it went it was really cool yeah um it was cool it's surreal it still is like kind of settling in it's like i've been to phoenix warp tour so many times as a guest even it's like i had backstage passes once and it was just nuts like seeing the chaos here and like the craziness and how fun it was and like now we're a part of it so that's super cool well yeah as and as you're alluding to warp tour is a big deal i mean uh, it's it's a struggle for a lot of bands to get onto the show seems like there's a million bands to play but there's five million that want to play yeah. that's the deal but you're here because you got a new record you got a new record out right manic pixie congratulations i want to hear a little bit about the record itself who wants to talk about it here you go um, so the new record is Manic Pixie Dream Girl. It came out on June 16th. Um, to us, it's a really big deal because it's our, you know, it's our second full-length album, um, and we feel like, I don't know, we've grown so much as musicians since the last album, and so this has been kind of a work in progress. And it's, it's our baby. It was our baby, you know. So we were just like, we wanted our, our baby to come out and like say hello to the world, you know. We wanted everyone to hear it. We wanted everyone to see what we did, you know, because we were so we're so proud of it. We're still so proud of it, and. Um, so far, it's being received really well, which is making us all really happy. Um, but yeah, no, this album is basically us reclaiming the Manic Pixie Dream Girl, you know, because it's she's more of a, a concept of a character uh, that is there to support the male leading actor in a show or movie or book or whatever. But so we're kind of reclaiming it and being like, you can be your own star. You can yeah, support yourself. Yeah, we're telling her story. Yeah. And so... You know, we're just kind of hoping to open some new doors for some for some young girls or like help, you know, because I, I know that when I was listening to music before I started playing music, it was like I, you know, don't have the confidence. And so I'm hoping that this maybe brings some confidence to some, you know, girls that want to get into music because girls can do anything. Yeah. Yeah, there was there certainly wasn't the the number of role models that there are today. Five years later, you know, uh, there's there's a lot of women on stage and it's a great thing you guys are starting to become fierce and a force to reckon with and you're kind of tearing up the world uh, talk about being out on tour as, as a full female band that's got to be a bit of a challenge who wants to well we still definitely have a lot of way to come because there's just so many dudes still out here but it's really cool to see like yeah yeah no um, yeah but there's just there's definitely an increase in uh, girls and yeah. bands that especially on this tour but like you know the ratio is still like one to 100 yeah. so we're still trying to get there but it's just been really cool everyone's been really supportive we haven't dealt with any people like really doubting us so far which usually we face all the time so people have just been great Warp all the bands is a lot more accepting yeah supportive. very supportive all the other girl bands on tour have been so kick-ass and just so powerful and it's cool that we're like in that group of I don't know, I guess powerful girl bands, yeah. I'm hoping. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, e even on like other tours and stuff, you know, we get those people that come up to us and they're like, oh, we thought you guys were going to suck, but you guys were pretty good. And so on this tour, you know, like we really don't get that, you know, it's like they kind of expect everyone that's here, like they have a, a standard for everyone that's here. And so, uh, you know, everyone, it, it's been a really great, uh, we've been... What's the word I'm looking for? We've been accepted here really well. Experience, a great experience. It's been a great experience. That's too. That too, yeah. You know, uh, guys also go through that same syndrome where they walk out on stage and everyone goes, "You suck." Yeah. And the guys have learned over the years, you got to kick them in the face. You got to walk out there, and I think the ladies are learning that as well. Don't don't worry about them doubting you. Just go out there and prove them wrong. Oh yeah. We always do. Yeah, we never worry about it. It's just kind of funny when people come up to us and they're like, we thought you were going to suck. And it's like, they think we're going to suck because we're girls, not because we're just another band. People come up and they're like, oh, I saw a bunch of girls get up there and I thought they're not actually going to be a good band. Yeah. So, like, guys never get it where, like, people are like, oh, I saw a bunch of dudes. I thought they were going to suck. Like, people are just like, oh, they look like they may suck. But 
Yeah, so it's just like proving people wrong, best thing in the whole world yeah. when people come up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's fun. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the growth between the two records, In Your Face and of course, you know, Manic Pixie. Um, big difference between the albums. You know, to me, it's it's a seasoned, it's, it's, it's that time you guys have spent on the road. Talk a little bit about getting in the studio in that second album now and having that confidence and that experience behind you. Yeah. Megan's here. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, man, the first time we were recording, it was, I don't think it was even supposed to be like a big full length. We were just like, let's just do some, a uh, little bit of recording. Yeah, demo was with John Aquilino of Icon um, here in Arizona at the Platinum Underground. We uh, recorded, you know, like a few demos. And then there, and then John was just like, um, let's do some more, you know. And then David, you know, got behind it and like, I guess it just kind of fell together and we were all like proud of our songs but we were still kind of you know hesitant because it was our first thing you know to really go out into the public and then second time around after touring and after getting more experience and like meeting all these different bands and all these different influences we started recording with Evan Rodnick of Cage 9 and he like helped us he's a wizard he is the wizard the wizard um he was producing mixing the whole thing and the man is a genius. Look, I mean, he, he, he helped us find the sound of the Manic Pixie Dream Girl. He did do that. He like knew exactly what we were going for and somehow was just able to capture it. And we were like, you are the best person in the world. Like he, just working with him has been so great. He understands like where we're coming from creatively and it is just the best, best experience like in the whole world. She was, he was great. She. <laughs> We've uh, interviewed Evan, and I know the man's a bit of a fiend. You met him on tour, didn't you? You're out with Lacey. Wasn't he involved in that tour as well? Um, he, he was, I don't think we met him on that tour, but we kind of found out about him through Lacey because he recorded with Lacey. Um, and so, you know, we loved the album so much that we were like, can we record with you, Evan? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, when David was like, yeah, um, the guy who's going to be recording you is the same guy who did the Lacey Sturm album, we were all like... Okay, perfect, <laughs> because we the Lazy Serum album was done amazingly, so it was a great fit. So as we talked before we, uh, well, before we started rolling a little tape, let's call it tape because it's really digital, but hey, whatever. As we were talking, uh, you are you only have a few days left on a warp. That's been a little crazy, I know. Tell me about some of the crazy stuff that's been happening on this tour for you. We've been getting we've been getting recognition from bands that I just, I didn't even know knew who we were. Um I never thought that they'd know who we are and you know we've been getting I've been meeting so many people and I've been just like that today we got Ash Costello from New Year's Day to come see our set or like come see part of it and I was like <laughs> like just like freaking out um, but I mean the whole experience has been crazy you know like the first day we showed up in Seattle we had no idea what we ran for you know we we thought we did but we didn't realize we had to wake up at seven like get all our stuff out of the RV like do all this other stuff it was crazy a lot of physical labor um, but you know after the first day after we got the first day over with we were like okay we can do this um, granted we felt really confident in it because it was gonna be cold the next day um, <laughs> but you know and then we thought about it we like wow it's gonna be really hot it's gonna be really hot this just like whole touring experience on Warp Tour has just been so crazy and cool like every single day is just like one of a kind and like I can't even believe that we're experiencing it right now. Just like the people we've met, the experiences we've had, it's been so awesome. I know, I'm not, Alex, say something. I'm just chilling over here. I understand. It's like a big summer camp for musicians. Oh, yeah. That's, I think, probably the best description I've heard of Warp. It really is. So, your time with Warped is coming up a little short here, unfortunately, but I know you've got some other things going on the rest of the year. You guys are between a little bit. What's going on? Tell me about the upcoming tour. What's going on after War Tour is that we're going on a bigger tour and it, we're going to be gone till basically September. Um, but we're going to be going on tour with Next to None, which is Max Fortnoy's band. And that's going to be super fun. And yeah, it's just going to be all over the country. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. We're going to be hitting all the places that we're not hitting with Warped. Because uh, yeah. there's a lot of people, like when we announced that we were going to be on Warped, they're all like, are you, gonna, are you guys going to be coming to North Carolina? Like all these different places. And we're like, no, not with Warped at least, but we're going to be coming there, you know, on our own, which will be even more fun because we'll be able to like have our own headlining thing. And like, we'll be playing a 40, like an hour set instead of 30 minutes, you know, and it won't be hot. It'll yeah, be, it'll be we'll be inside. So, um, yeah, no, we're really excited to do headlining stuff again. We're looking. Ah, we're looking forward to you guys coming back. That's all I've got. Is there anything I missed? What do you guys want to talk about? This is your chance. Come on. Someone stole my hair product. Someone. 
<laughs> Here we go. We're going to be on Shiprocked. There it is. Yeah, in January. We did that in 2015. We were on Shiprocked. And we're going to be... 16. Yeah. Oh, okay, because I'm thinking because it's in the beginning of the year. Okay, well, yeah, we're gonna be on Shiprock again. We were there in 2016. We're gonna be there for 2018 too. So we're excited about that. It's like it's like space themed, and we're going to the Bahamas. So I'm really excited. <laughs> well, that's all I got today. I want to thank you for spending a moment with us. Thank you. Right. Have a good rest of the tour. Yay! Seems I'm gonna go away, it's so easy to Why?